7.10 a.m. Stan, do you want to go out for dinner tonight? Stan? Stan, can you hear me? Stan? Would you shut the hell up? I'm trying to watch the news. Jeez. What did you say? What did you just say to me? You heard me. You're damn right I heard you. A month ago, you couldn't care less about the news, and you dressed like a human being instead of a psychotic Boy Scout. All right, I've heard enough of those comments. What I do and how I dress is my business. Not when you're doing it in my house. You come over here and never get out of that damn chair reading your stupid magazines. You fantasize more about guns than girls. You want me out of the chair? You got it! Now let me show you something! Stan, wait! Stanley, what are you doing? I'm going out. With my mask? Hey, I bought it. 8.34 a.m. Dio! What the hell are you doing under that car? Just turning the oil drain plug too tight to strip the threads and make this fella think he sprung a leak. Oh, okay. I thought you were actually trying to fix it. No way. I learned from my mistakes. I'll never forget your face when I replaced that fella's beat-up old muffler. Hey, them things cost money. Fortunately, I had your puncture's brake lines to make up for the loss. <laughs> Cause now, if you see a big problem when you're hired to fix a small one, it's okay to fix the small one. Like that bald guy with the hot girlfriend? The one who came in to have his soft plugs replaced? But he didn't know his head gasket was cracked! <laughs> <laughs> he was back in less than an hour! Sucker! <laughs> what was his name again? Ipkiss! <laughs> Stanley Ipkiss! <laughs> Ahem. I'm not gonna pay a lot for this muffler! 9.53 a.m., Fred Willard Elementary School. That's still not right, Jimmy. Do it again. A T U B U. No, it's T U E B. <laughs> no, Jimmy, that is not how you spell tuberculosis. Would anyone else care to try? Sure, that's all. I'll give it a shot. I don't know who you are or what you want, but you'd better pick up that garbage. Well, if you insist, Mrs. Gazzo. <laughs> Put me down this instant. Make up your mind. <laughs> Jimmy. Please help me. I think... I think I've broken something. Ah, shut up. You're worried a kid. Now, Jimmy, can you spell dead meat? Ah, well, that's enough for today, wouldn't you say? Class dismissed. Single friggin' file, children! Ten forty six AM. Hey, Kellaway, got a problem with your muffler? Who writes your material, Burder? Hey, I need this gallows human to survive my job. I've heard it a million times. What do we got? Well, there's one of them. And there's number two. The only witness said a weird looking guy with a big head left here about two hours ago. Not him again. Who is this maniac? Why is he doing this? Why'd he choose my town? Stand right. Lieutenant, we got another call over at the school. Super. So, trying to get away? Please, leave me alone. Where's your lunch? Didn't you hear the kid? Cut the crap! Hey, mister, what's wrong with your head? Why, I don't believe there's anything wrong with my head. <clears throat> What's wrong with yours? <laughs> <laughs> Whew, what a day. 
<sighs> I'd better try to get some sleep before Kath gets home from work. Tomorrow. I'll start being a superhero first thing tomorrow. 5.28 p.m. This is all your fault. I don't know what's going on or why he's changed, but I know it's got something to do with you. So maybe the best way to help Stan is to get rid of you. Smells great, babe. It'll be ready in a minute. Have a seat. Stanley, I want to talk to you about something. Say, babe, where's the mask? You know, Stan, you've changed a lot lately. Do you know where the mask is? A month ago, you thought the term babe was stupid. Kathy, where is the mask? I... I threw it out. What? Where is it? I gotta get it. How could you do this to me? Stan, look at yourself. Look how you're acting. You've changed so much. All those books, that weird list of names, the way you talk, the way you act. I, I don't feel I know you anymore. That mask was a present to me. But I didn't want it anymore, so I threw it out. Is that thing more important than me? She's right. That thing has changed me. I mean, just because Mrs. Gazzo embarrassed me as a kid was no reason to off her. It's all gotten so out of hand. I don't want that thing controlling me. I'm better off without the mask. Besides, I already got everyone on my list. You did the right thing, honey. I think I just have some unresolved anger. Just give me some time to work it out and I'll be okay. Oh, Stan, I think you're right. Now, how about some stew? That was great, Kath. Uh, I'm gonna go watch some TV. Who? Who? Ha! What on earth? Ha! Who? Who? Look at that picture. Now, how do you suppose he got that muffler down his throat? Oh, nuts. I forgot all about McWhirter. That SOB still owes me 60 bucks. That's it, you sick pig. Get out of my apartment and out of my life. Hey! Not another word. Just get the hell out now. Okay, if that's the way you feel. But just let me say one thing, okay? Can I have the mask back? Yo! Yeah!